What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today, people, I'll be talking about the Star Wars Battlefront 2 loot boxes. Now, if you guys did not know about this whole situation, there is a big controversy surrounding this whole system because people think it's literally a pay to win system. And um, I did my own research, I did search through like every single equipment and all the crafting cards and all that stuff. And I'm telling you guys right now, there isn't a big problem with this a lot of people are literally just taking it overboard like they're just like going to the extent to make this game look bad to be honest it's not that bad I'm gonna tell you guys right in the beginning of the video there are no damage boosts for any of your characters not even for the heroes not even for some of the enforcers the extra stuff for some of the new vehicles there are no damage boosts for any of your characters so nobody's getting stronger but instead, they're getting some support cards, some more defense upgrades, some more health regeneration. That's what everybody has so far on the beta. Now, of course, when the full game comes out, I will be doing more reviewing and I'll be doing more, you know, research on this whole situation. And I'll tell you guys if it's actually, you know, if, if I'm actually wrong towards the end. Because right now I'm telling you, the loot crates, the loot boxes or whatever doesn't make it seem that bad. Because from what I've seen, because right now you can go into the beta and look through the characters and see some of the equipment that is available for them. So, this is what, what was available in the beta. As you can see, some of the boost cards and some of the ability replacement cards, they are not that big of a deal. And most of these cards are the same ones on the other characters, except for one card. Some of them is like, like unique for some of these characters. But like, let me tell you, tell you guys some of these, you know, Assault Training. Gain a small amount of health for each defeated enemy, so this thing only activates when you kill someone. Brother, when you defeat an enemy in melee combat, your abilities refresh and gain a small amount of health. As you can see, you gotta kill someone with melee combat. So, it doesn't activate until you kill someone with melee combat. Resourceful. All your abilities have a faster recharge time. That's actually the best card of this class, to be honest. And some of these other classes do have it too. So, it repeats itself. And it's not that big of a deal. So, I mean, like, you can look at it and be like, oh, that's cool. You know, your abilities will recharge. But are they even good? Some of the disabilities, that's what you gotta look at. So, here it is. Vanguard, you know, refresh. An improved version of the Vanguard that refreshes your abilities when you defeat an enemy. So it doesn't actually activate until you kill someone. Combat Enhancer, regenerate your health while this ability is active. And, um, you know, the thing is, I did use this one on the officer. It doesn't really recharge your health that much. It's not that fast that we recharge health. So it's not that big of a problem. Smart Iron Grenade. Now, this one is actually a little bit OP, but I get it. You know, it take it does take a little while to, to actually actually activate because, it's, as you can see there, the fuse time is actually seven seconds to ten seconds. So it does take a while to fuse, and uh, it does a great amount of damage because I used it before. And um, to be honest, a lot of the people end up running away. So you're really you're really like maybe like a 1 out of 10 chance to actually kill someone with this goddamn thing if they don't notice it. That's why I think I suggest like to overthrow it a little bit and land it right behind them and they won't notice it and you get like a probably like a triple kill or something. So that's the only way this one's going to work. As for the other characters, you know, they have super similar cards too. As you can see, they have Resourceful, Brawler, Defender. This is the only different one right here. You gain a small, small, uh, small amount of score for each hit that you take. Now that's a good thing because one, it makes you get like Boba Fett or you know Han Solo a little bit faster, so that's a little bit okay. Yes, and then also some of these things, the sentry gun, the detonate charge, the barrage, none of them are stronger except for this one though. This is actually pretty much awesome to use, and uh, you know it's it's fun to shoot around grenades. You know, <laughs> I, I used it so many times. You get a few people here and there, but it's not that big of a deal, man. It's like throwing a regular ass grenade, so. Let's move on to the next character. So you, guys, so you guys can see the whole situation here. So you guys can see nobody has a damage boost. It's literally just all support cards. So uh, officer presence, you know, reduce the delay before a nearby allies, allies health regeneration begins. So everybody just regenerates super fast when you have this one equipped. Uh, brawler, of course, the same thing. Resourceful, all your abilities fast, have a faster recharge times. Uh, diffuser and battle command strike. 
you know, a limited weapon cooling, uh, modified diffusion that creates burst ionized energy that overheats enemy weapons and diffuses explosives. Like, it's just all supports and traps for this guy. So, I'm telling you right now, it's not that big of a deal on most of these guys. Some of them just have an advantage on spawning you, and some of them just have an advantage on setting traps against you. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it is. For now, on the beta, of course, because I know when the full game comes out, people are going to be sending me like, Oh, Joe, look at this. Look at this damage boost. It gives you like 25% more. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure when the full game comes out. So, uh, and also the heroes, I mean, you can also select some equipment cards and some crafting cards, and you can see it's also just uh, faster regeneration on, on abilities or health or def on defense, uh, higher jetpacks, you know, you can, like, fuel refills faster on the jetpack, and, you know, it's not that big of a deal, death from above, uh, rocket barrage fires faster and all that stuff, so faster rockets on Boba Fett, I guess. Uh, let's check out Han Solo, see how OP he gets for a little bit. Airburst, uh, then they charge with deal bonus, uh, keep your head cool, each headshot kill will instantly disable overheat for Han Solo. Like, a lot of these things, I mean, you gotta be super accurate, you gotta get kills in order for these cars to activate. So, Han Solo right there, getting a little bit OP, but not as much. Uh, Darth Maul, I cannot check out his equipment card, so that's a letdown. And also, you can also equip some of these equipment cards on, uh, some of the starships and everything, so... That would be fun to check out because right now the game is not letting me to check out. So this is actually the beta. As you can see on the top, it says thank you for playing Star Wars Battlefront multi multiplayer. The beta has now ended. So so that is it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys what to exp what was in the beta on these equipment cards and all these loot boxes. Like it wasn't a big of a deal. So I don't know where people are getting this like pay to win stuff. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's only support cards. Unless, you know, once we get the full game, they do give us damage boosters, then we are fucked, you know, because people are going to spend like a hundred bucks just to get those damage boosters. And then some people are actually going to be OP with a uh, with a heavy machiner. Actually, actually, the heavy machine gun guy has the best machine gun of the whole damn game because it's it's uh, automatic and it actually shoots a little bit faster. So it's way better than assault. Assault doesn't make damage worth of nothing man the damage sucks on the assault heavy is the best character to, to go with in this whole game so that is it guys that's my breakdown of this whole loot crate situation this loot boxes do you guys still think it's controversial and maybe they should remove it or do you, are you guys okay with it because you know i just show you guys i just show you guys like a little bit more of a dissection of what to expect from some of these loot boxes and also there are some em emotes just in case you're wondering because as you can see, you can also get some emotes from some of these loot boxes. Which they really suck, by the way. <laughs> I don't know where they even got some of these. There's some victory po poses. Like, what the hell, man? Who came up with this? This is literally... That's literally almost the same pose. Who came up with these? Oh, my God. So, that's it, guys. If you got anything to say, leave it in the comment section. Leave a like on the video. And also, subscribe for more. There's going to be more content coming up. 